tale of the tape for this championship fight brought to you by Celsius. Josh Silvera, 30 years of age, making him one year older than Impa Kasunganai. Silvera is also one inch taller. You can see both of these men weighed in under the 205 pound title limit. Reach advantage on the arms favoring Josh Silvera. They each have 42 inch measurements on the legs. All right, keys to victory for Joshua Silvera. He needs to mix up his strikes, try to look for body shots, and hit those takedowns for Kasanganai. It's about his forward pressure, his boxing, and his patience. Andy Shepard, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a seven-figure fight. Five rounds of action for the PFL Light Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a striking specialist and stands six feet tall. He went in officially at 203 and one half pounds and holds a record of 14 victories and three defeats. Fighting out of Deerfield Beach, Florida, he is the 2023 Challenger Series winner, Chi Lobo Impa Kasunganai. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is a grappling specialist and stands six feet one inches tall. He weighed in officially at 202 and one half pounds and holds an MMA record of 12 wins and one loss. 11 wins coming by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Joshua Silvera. Your referee in charge, Mario Yamazaki. Mario Yamazaki equipped with the referee cam. Josh Silvera in the gold trunks, Impa Kasunganai in the gray. Potentially five five-minute rounds to decide the $1 million, 205-pound championship winner. There you go, first round, you ready? Are you ready? Let's go, come on! Southpaw stands for Silvera. High kick attempt to open the action from Kasunganai. Impa immediately trying to back up Josh Silvera. Stabbing kick there from Silvera. Talked to him in the fighter meetings, and he said that was going to be a valuable weapon against the forward pressure. Silvera trying to attack that body of Impa with those body kicks right down the middle. Has double unders briefly. Impa able to pummel in. Outside trip attempt here from Severa, but the sunk and I was able to reverse position. Oh, gets on top in the mouth briefly. Severa coming out the back door, does a nice job of scrambling out of trouble. Josh Silvera, Division I college wrestler at Arizona State University. Joining us to uh, have some fun during this fight, Wiz Khalifa. Wiz, 205 pound world title. We just got started, what do you think so far? I'm thinking uh, it's looking good. These boys look excited to be here, both of them. Working real hard, it's a million dollars on the line. We got five rounds. Hopefully they make the best of that. You know, I'm excited to be here. Uh, PFL just acquired Bellator, so it's gonna be a great fight, man. Impica Sunganai was able to land a right hand behind the ear, and there's a left hook as he backs up Josh Silvera. Josh has got to be careful, backing straight up with that chin up in the air. He's got to keep those hands high. Impa starting to land with more volume here. Impa still closed mouth, breathing through his nose, despite the high volume. Yeah, he's staying very, very relaxed here. Nice jab by Silvera. Let's see him uncork oh. that straight left. But Impa beats him to the punch. 
No pun intended. Yeah, and landed a nice short left hook there. Silvera doesn't want to be in the pocket trading with boxing technique with Kasanganai for too long. Beautiful Super takedown there. The Super nice in. head movement. Head outside single by Josh Silvera. He's trying to capture the other leg, the free Put leg now. Sanganai attacking the head, making anymore. him think about it. Nice oh. job. Silvera's on her back. back. And on the neck. Oh, he, he missed it. Off. Got a little rushed, a little too high, Couldn't and lost the position. Yeah, he didn't line up his shoulders with the shoulders of Kasang, and I allowed him to rotate. Now it's Impla who's on top. No anchors. Oh, oh now look no at this. And now Interesting. Impa. Bulldog. Oh. Bulldog attempt by Kasang and I here. But you see, Impa's not lined up either. Nope. And Silvera did a nice job of getting out of that leg ride, taking that anchor away. Wow. Fast and furious start here. Great counter movement from both of these guys. Short uppercut landed as we take a listen inside the corner of Josh Silvera. This is gonna be a grueling fight. You can see that right from the start. Back to the center of the smart cage. High pace so far in his 205-pound championship. Josh said he, in preparation for this fight, his dad put him through a lot of different challenges, a lot of different tests. Said he doesn't want to be surprised by anything here tonight. Oh, scooping uppercut there from the rear hand. Ipika Sanganai <laughs> mixing the strikes. Kasanganai's striking is very, very accurate tonight. Nice little foot wheel attempt by Kasanganai. Silvera steps out of it. I think what I'm most impressed by at this moment is that Impa hasn't even opened his mouth to yeah. breathe yet. Yep. It's all through the nose right now. Yeah, and it's been a very fast-paced fight. Now landing even more shots. With a great oh. Great job of mixing the straight strikes and the looping punches. Ipika Sanganai giving Silvera different looks. Little, little drip of blood coming down the left side of Josh Silvera's face in these final few seconds of round number one. I'd like to see Josh Silvera give some head fakes. At least make him think yeah. he's gonna shoot a double. Set for round number Second two. Second round, you ready? You ready? Let's go, go on. Dan Hardy, how'd you see round one? A fascinating first round. You know, this is 25 minutes, and we knew both of these guys were going to be smart enough to feel one another out. But we got all of the ranges in that first one. Now Kasang and I starting to rev the engine a bit, but amazingly, still breathing through his nose, which is so difficult to do in a high-pressure situation. He landed a short right there. Got Silvera off balance a little bit. Wiz Khalifa, do you like the work you're seeing from Impa Kasang and I? Oh man, it's going down. Uh, really good use of his stamina, good takedown defense. Um, setting up those punches and kicks really well. He's just using all his weapons. And um, yeah, he's showing off in this fight. But now he's got double underhooks. So they're able to pummel out of it. Little slip there on the plant foot from Impica Sunganai. It's an okay level change by Josh Silvera, but he reached for the legs, he didn't keep his feet moving. That allowed Kasanganai to pull him up chest to chest to take the position away from him. Yeah. And, and, and that's where Josh is gonna get caught. He's getting caught repeatedly. He's backing straight up, hands down, chin up in the air, and he's running to a lot of the punches of Kasanganai. Silvera now starting to put together one-twos right down the middle. Impa's gonna have to keep his head off that center line. Look at this stoic approach from Impa. Between those explosions. And Randy, I agree. I think Josh is being there. a little bit too predictable. There's a nice level change, but double. he's not fainting his way in. Exactly, and, and now he's on his knees. Tough to finish once you hit your knees in the double position. One thing I think we've learned watching Impa Kasunganai even fighting large light heavyweights. He's undersized for the weight class. He lacks nothing for strength. And you saw him there, even on the decent level change of pressure oh. from Silvera. Big slip here from Kasunganai. Kasunganai tried to throw the left kick and slipped and, and landed on his back. 
Yeah, absolutely, Sean. And I think we saw that against Martin Hamlin, an absolutely massive 205 pounder who also comes from a wrestling background. And he was able to get back to his feet. He's showing some good composure here against Silvera. Not a great spot for him, though. Now working for an underhook. He needs to get the far side underhook, that left arm. And he's trying to dig for it now. Now he can blade his body and get back to his feet. There he goes. He oh, gets boy, back nice to the start. offense immediately. Well, look at the hips and thighs of Kasungadai. This guy's got the lower body of a big person. He might not be the biggest an upper body, but he's he's got that core that's very, very strong and able to bear that weight. Wow, that's a big right hand. Big right hand. Sharp and quick, and he's mixing them up, and then he comes around the corner with the next one. Well, Josh's solution to kind of having that chin up in the air is ducking down, which is also not a good solution because now he can start running into knees and uppercuts. Yep. And we've seen Kasunganai Hill reach his left arm around on those hooks and then throw the dirty boxing, the uppercuts, the short punches. Nice lead jab here from Josh Silvera, who's sucking wind here in the second. It's the speed of Kasunganai that's been the difference. His shots have landed. He's just that split second faster. It's not that Silvera's not throwing things. It's just not quite as quick. I would love to know what's going through Josh Silvera's head at this moment. Even in a high-paced fight like this, he's staring at a guy who's just breathing through the nose, remaining calm. Good jab there from Silvera. We talked about the training camp for both of these fighters, and Josh said that he would start fresh rounds. He wants no reaction. New opponent would come in midway through a round. He would try not to react, just get back to the techniques. He's going to have to do that if it stays this oh. way against Impa. Another right hand. Josh doesn't want to get pinned up against the cage there. He's got to be careful. That's where Martin Hamlet got caught. Final 30 seconds of this second frame. Let's see if Impa starts to attack the body of Silvera. Just as you said it, he dug <laughs> that right hand in. Right to the body, left to the head. Good jousting jab from Silvera. He's had some success, but he wears a short hook to the side of his head for his efforts. Yeah, Silvera definitely starting to get frustrated. Oh. Five-pound championship, one million dollars on. on the line. A potential super fight matchup with the Bellator champion after PFL's acquisition of Bellator. And it oh blitz forward. That one-two-three combination was on the money. It looked like that last three might have hurt Josh a little bit. You tell if it was him stumbling on the fence or if it actually hurt him. With some early blitzes here from Impa in round three. Is this the one, is this the round where he can get a finish? Yeah, um, he can get a finish. He's seeing everything coming his way. Um, you know, he's he's like a few good shots from taking him out of there for sure. I see it, I see it happening close to the end of this round. Good level change here from Josh Silvera. Drives with the feet. Great work by Impica Sunganite to force the head down. Beautiful sprawl, great hand control. Sprawl, I should say. Yeah, and Silvera didn't do himself any favors. His hips didn't really get underneath his head there. At least now, stayed off his knees and kept his feet moving, but he didn't explode Right, finish it. Now double unders. Reversal of position here for Impica Sunganai. You can see the live odds have swung significantly in Impa's favor. Minus 1,300 favorite at this point in the fight. Josh just kind of gave up the back there. Nice sweep. Come on! Impa uses his right leg to kick the supporting limbs out from under Josh Silvera. Silvera's in trouble. He's got to be careful here. Impa's got one hook in, cranking that face. And this is where Impa really should 
try to increase the pressure. Instead of going for the submission, control and start landing some big ground and pound. He's basically, man, he, I mean, Josh turns over, he's in full mount. Josh came to quarter position. He's going to try and find his way back to his feet. Oh, nice uppercut. I mean, Impa is just locked in. I mean, that's what laser light focus looks like. Body shot of him, the left hook came over the top from Impa Kasunganai. Starting to mix it up. Ran into a jab there, though. Josh Silvera very much in this fight. Yeah, he showed a lot of toughness here. Level changes there, but he went right to his knees. It's impossible to keep your feet moving and drive through that body weight to finish the takedown. Nice spin behind by Kasunganai. It's Sabaras is, is looking for He's looking very fatigued. Oh, he's got it. He's got it in tight. Josh Rivera get out of it. Turns out. But Impel rides to the top. Goes to work with the right hand. Matt return here. Nice Hold stop. On. Nice stop by Impel recognizing where he was at to let those hooks out and stay on top. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he would have lost position if he committed to, the, to those hooks. Yep, he'd have been on the bottom. Corner of Impa Kasunganai, and he is right in front of his own corner. Standing arm Standing triangle. Standing arm triangle. These are rare. He could hit it here. He's got it locked. Can't tell if he's got pressure on Josh's shoulder. Not anymore. 40 seconds in round number three. Impaka Sunganai pulling away, staying offensive in this fight. Live odds continuing to swing very drastically now in his favor. Manhandling Josh Silvera against the smart cake. Fifteen seconds. I, I think what's most surprising is the fact that he's been largely out grappled here by Kasangana. Yeah, that is very surprising. Round three in the books. Impa Kasangani and Josh Silvera squaring off for one million dollars in a light heavyweight world championship. This is the first time in Impa's career he's been into the championship rounds, but he does appear to be fresh. Josh Silvera has previously fought a five round fight. Oh, great combination again. Huge shots. Boy, I got sweat from that one. That was. Yes, getting showered with the splashing sweat of both fighters here. Oh, in front he's, of our broadcast position is a hunting here. Yeah, he definitely smells blood in the water here. Silvera able to stay on his feet, but those shots were massive. Oh, oh nasty oh. left hook on the Wow. The chin on Josh Silvera is really something. But Josh's movements is, are struggling. He, he's, he looks like he's struggling to me. Yeah, he's, he's still hurt. Sure. I think he's still hurt, too. Impa really has taken control here of this fight, just dominating oh. range. Going now to the straight right hand, Impa Kasunganai offers one to the belly of Josh Silvera. Dan Hardy, fourth round, and Impa's still fresh. I am so impressed with Impa Kasunganai in this one, and I feel like he's I feel like his determination and, the, and, his, and his patience, his ability to compose himself in these moments is really kind of partly what's playing into the accepting of defeat on Josh Silvera's part. 
I don't even feel like he's that tired. I just feel like he's shut out of the fight. And Kasangana is staying laser focused on what his goal is in this fight. Very, very impressive performance. Far more one sided than I expected, I'll be honest. So there now trying to grab hold of the hips of Impa Kasanganai. Impa negates it once again, chest to chest. Kasanganai felt the fence coming, circled his feet, and got off of that. Stayed off of the barrier. Wiz, it wasn't round three. Round four gonna be the end. <laughs> Man, even if he doesn't take him out, uh, it's Impa's fight. Um, uh, Severus hanging in there, his chin is strong. He's, he's eating a lot of these shots, but he can't really find his rhythm. Um, he's looking a little wonky in there, and, and Impa's just sticking to his guns and staying on his job, not getting taken down and, and firing off. So we're just going. He can ride it out just like this and win it. Million dollars, his. It's certainly a growing gap in this fight. Impika Sunganai, more than halfway through round number four, has been very impressive so far. Pace, shot selection, grappling defense, grappling offense for that matter. Incredible composure. The crowd here in DC chanting, let's go info, let's go. Capturing some hearts and minds here. The son of Congolese immigrants, first generation American. Lands a nice jab, no follow up just yet. Josh is not out of this fight. I think he's continued to stay strong mentally and physically, but it's got to be something when you are getting out wrestled, outstruck out there, and your opponent isn't even breathing heavy at all. I mean, it, that could mentally defeat a guy, but Josh still staying, staying with it here. Another check hook and almost a slip there from Impa. Josh getting more aggressive. Offers a knee on the entry from Impa Kasunganai. Straight right back. Final 30 seconds of round four. Good combination there from Josh. Got Impa backing oh. up. There's another hook. Yeah, Josh starting to string together a combination there. It's a good sign. Oh, ate a right hand as Man. he tried the knee. Josh throwing caution to the wind here at the end of round four. Did somebody tell him to come out that this was a 10 round fight? <laughs> and that's why he came in in this kind of shape. He looks ready for one. Yeah, I'm not sure I've seen anything like it. Left hook, right hand to the body from Impa. Oh. Right hand as they clash. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Hands up. Randy, how do you coach Impa to fight this? I think Impa sticks with exactly what has got him in this position. He's dominated four rounds of this fight. Keep doing exactly what you trained to do. Doesn't need to change a thing. Yeah, I mean, even if he loses this round, he still wins this fight. But he's just in control. He's dominating the range. He's stopping the takedown. He's frustrating Silvera. He's landing the cleaner shots. He's putting together combinations. And Silvera just cannot come up with an answer. Conan Silvera asked Josh, what are you going to do with the five minutes that you have? Josh Silvera pressing the action, trying to find a solution to the problem that is Impa Kasunganai. Just excellent movement by Impa as well. Just excellent lateral movement, establishing that jab. 
mean, he's just known where he was at in every second of this fight so far. Yeah. Wiz, you heard the question, what is Josh Severa going to do with now the three minutes that he has? Uh, I want him to just start swinging away, bro. He's, he's got three minutes. There's a million dollars on the line. Uh, he's hung in there as long as possible. And man, he's got to find some type of opening and go big. And if he can't go big, stay on his feet and just brawl it out, baby. See what you can do. I like that game. Yeah, Silvera's starting to land some bigger shots, though. Yeah, he straight just punches out. He's letting him go right down the middle, and he's walking Impa down. Oh. I think Lance off the top of the guard. Oh, nice hook landed yeah. there in the middle of that combination from Silvera. Yeah, this is the best his striking has looked the whole fight. He's throwing combinations, and Impa's offering well. Oh, ones and twos back. Interrupted some of that momentum oh. there, perhaps. Yeah, Impa's not going to hand this round over easily. <laughs> oh, nasty right from Josh Silvera. Impa's got to bring those hands right back after that jab. He's leaving it out there a little bit. Silvera's returning on the counter. After 23 minutes, does Silvera have enough power? Good knee to the midsection, and another. Most successful round Oof. for Silvera, but on the exit, sharp right hand from Impa Kasunganai, who now may be listening to the cornering of his coaches take the safer approach for this final minute and a half. Now Impa starting to counter with more frequency. Oh, another short right hand. Josh Silvera's chin on display. Jeez. I mean, Kasanganai's landed over 100 strikes, many of them significant. Yeah, no Great question. sprawl. This is just excellent preparation and execution by Impa Saganai and his team. And I will delay the point all day long. This is, this is a 205 pound fight. The gas tank on display, the composure, even with high volume and output. Impa Saganai is in phenomenal shape. Gotta watch the headlock here. Nice job by Saganai to feel it. Duck under and come out the back. Impa Kasunganai started his season on the PFL Challenger Series. He had to earn a spot in the season. He earned that spot, he earned his place into a championship, and he just earned himself $1 million and a 205 pound title in the Professional Fighters League. Andy Shepard, tell us. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score this bout 50-45 for your winner via unanimous decision. And 2023 PFL Light Heavyweight Champion, Impa What a moment for Impa Kasunganai, having that belt wrapped around his waist. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, the 2023 light heavyweight champion of the Celsius post-fight interview. That belt looks good around your waist, that check looks good in your hands, my friend. What an impressive performance that was. I expected this to be the most competitive fight on the card, and it was a complete shutout. Tell me how you're feeling right now. Uh, man, I'm feeling grateful, I won them call. Uh, God is great. I don't know anybody know in here, man. Like, you could be in your car one day, you could be a world champion the next. That's in anything you do. A lot of people are here, man. You don't know the story or the situation that they're going through, but I want you to know you're unconditionally loved. You might feel like giving up right now, but don't. Just one more day. Promise yourself that. You'll be a champion in your own life. Now, I do want to know more about the performance, but you slipped that in right there. You just said, I want Nemkov. 
Tell me why. Man, I want Nemcop. He's one of the best in the world. Why would you be in this if you don't want to be the best, if you're not here to be the best? I came here to dominate. I want Nemcop and I want Francis Ngannou. I want all the best. I'm not playing around. I'm here to be the best to ever do it, past, present, and future. I thank God the UFC cut me. I'm here to be in PFL and dominate. Give me 12 to 15 years, give me a great contract, let me take care of my family. I want everybody next. I'll fight tomorrow, I'll fight Sunday, I don't care. And man, let's get after it. Shout out to everybody I killed Cliff, DK Fitness. Hey man, T and Juan, bro. Keep working, man. I had 16-year-old kids helping me get ready for this fight. It doesn't matter who you are. Get out here, get after it. I'm here to be the best to ever do it, and I don't play about that. After everything you've achieved this year, you're standing here with the belt, with the check, and you're still calling people out. You're still chasing the top. What drives you, my friend? I'm on a war path. I want to honor God and do my job. I want people to see, like, when you represent God, it doesn't matter if you're perfect or not, because I'm not a perfect person, man. I fell short many times. But when you get an opportunity to be here and do great work, you can be a strong man and still dominate, and you can still be a loving man. And that's what I want to show. So I'm on a path. I don't care if I'm tired. I don't care if I'm sick. I don't care if I'm hurt, injured. I just know I'm going to show up and do honor God and do my job. I want to represent my family, the Kasunganai name, represent these guys back here. Coach Lenz told me, he said, be ashamed if you become a world champion. Coach Jones welcomed me to the gym. Henry Kabobi had a car. Coach Dieter and I, we work every single day. I got my dog Jason Jackson right here, head welterweight champion. He beats me up on Sundays, that's my dog. <laughs> we gotta get another round in. But I love this guy. And man, I'm like, I'm here to be the best, man. PFO just gave me an opportunity. And I got a lot of people here that love me. I really want to say something though, like shout out to Josh Silvera, shout out to Coden, showed his family. My dad's right here and it's an opportunity. I met Josh on a plane to Abu Dhabi. I got knocked up in front of the whole world and they were still super respectful. We talked the whole way there and way back. I got a lot of respect for him. So like, he and his dad right now, don't get your head down to do something special with your father. A lot of kids in here don't even have their dad in their life. So take that moment to love one another, all right? You're a special individual, my friend. You're inspiring and you're on an incredible journey. And I know that this journey is not over yet. Ladies and gentlemen, the light heavyweight champion, Ipika Saganine! <laughs>